remember how Mayweather got beat on by Maidana for six rounds? How he almost got knocked out in a rematch? And how throughout both of those ordeals, somehow, miraculously, he remained the number one pump for pump fighter in the sport. <laughs> Remember how my favorite, Andre Ward, got humiliated, schooled, embarrassed, outclassed, outboxed, and knocked down on top of that by Sergei Kavalyov. And after that miraculous draw, somehow got praised for a great performance. Remember that? I sure as hell do. Man, these foreign fighters get held to a completely unrealistic, unbiased standard that some of these homeboys, none of them, could ever live up to. Remember how Gennady Golovkin, yes, Gennady Golovkin, got caught by a counter right hand by Vanis Martirosian, who later on followed up with the swivel jab, running toward Golovkin and rocking him a little bit. Remember that? And remember how after he knocked out Vanes, that same Vanes that hit him a couple of times with some really good shots, he went on to win the fight against Canelo, at least in the eyes of something like 90% of the media present at that fight. And definitely the overwhelming majority of boxing fans out there that don't have Canelo's name tattooed on their left butt cheek. Remember that? Remember how the other night... Steve Rawls was able to hit Gennady Golovkin with those same shots, a counter right hand and a swivel jab, rocking his head back. And now he got knocked out shortly thereafter. Remember that? And what am I hearing? Oh, Canelo's gonna destroy Golovkin. <laughs> Golovkin is done! <laughs> None of you ever saw Steve Rolls fight. How do you know how good he is? Maybe he's better than Vanes. Who knows? Most of you boxing fans out there, definitely not the people subscribed to this channel, but most of you so-called boxing fans out there, stick to boxing gossip, all right? Stop trying to break down fights. Stop talking about technique. You don't know what a legal punch is, all right? Stop talking about the technical aspects of boxing and stick to boxing gossip. That's what you're good at, all right? Now, as far as what happened in the fight from a technical aspect, and I'm talking about Steve Rolls and Gennady Golovkin, and I'm hearing how Golovkin looked well, like the same Golovkin as always. I mean, well, if you mean, you know, he got hit like he's gotten hit in other fights. Yeah, it's boxing. This boxing, guys. Fighters get hit. Jesus Christ. But, I mean, either you have a really short memory or you really shouldn't talk about the technical aspects of boxing, okay? Now, Jonathan Banks isn't teaching Golovkin anything new. He's watching tapes of Golovkin from many many years ago and this is just my opinion and he's telling him we need to get back to this because when you were doing this could nobody fuck with you all right now watch any one of Golovkin's last four fights starting with Danny Jacobs Canelo Vanes and then Canelo again just watch the first round of every one of those fights and then watch the first round of the Steve Rolls fight and then come back here and tell me that you saw the same fighter and if that's what you still think, please, please, just stick to gossip. That's all you're good at. That was a completely different fighter we just saw, at least for the first two rounds. Now, it wasn't a completely new Golovkin, because we saw that Golovkin. Go watch the Rosado fight. Go watch the Osumano Adama fight. Go watch his, I don't know any one of those fights from around that era. How Golovkin was moving his head on the way in, throwing overhand punches as he's coming in, you know, throwing the jab, dipping back, throwing the counter, how he was a lot more on his toes, how he was switches, switching stances while throwing bombs. A Sheeta fight comes to mind. Go watch some of them fights. Go remind yourself of what this guy used to look like and why it is that Canelo finally decided to fight him. Because he was no longer seeing that guy. 
And now we just saw flashes of that guy for the first couple of rounds. Now Steve Rose had something to say about that and Golovkin reverted back to this not so old, older Golovkin from the last four fights or so. Okay, fair enough. But we saw flashes of Jonathan Banks trying to bring back the old Golovkin. While all the Canelitas are saying, oh, he's beatable, Canelo's going to destroy him, right? What's De La Hoya saying? Uh, uh, go beat somebody. No, 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 no. I don't want to throw Canelo in there with this Golovkin that looks like the old Golovkin we didn't want to fight, even though it was only for a couple of rounds. Give him a few more months. Who knows what might happen, right? If this is the worst version of Golovkin you ever saw, Mr. Boxing Gossip, yeah? And De La Hoya also watched this worst ever, supposedly, version of Golovkin. De La Hoya, who was a very experienced fighter, right? If he were to agree with you, if he really did agree with you, why isn't he jumping all over this old version of Golovkin trying to make the trilogy it's the biggest fight Canelo could make in the sport of boxing Golovkin is going to give Canelo yes this is a mutually beneficial relationship but Golovkin is going to give Canelo the biggest payday of his career again and if this is the easiest Golovkin the worst Golovkin why isn't De La Hoya jumping all over that dick why <laughs> Your boy is having second thoughts because win, lose, or draw. And it's most likely to be corrupted with Canelo juicing, loading his gloves, and having the judges in his pocket. Win, lose, or draw. If Canelo fights Golovkin next, that's another two years off of his career. And De La Hoya knows that. See, Golovkin ain't got shit to lose. His career is damn near over. Canelo still got a good decade to look forward to, except those four years that Golovkin already took out of him. That's right. So they don't want another couple of years of those 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollar paydays, do they? Because if, if De La Hoya thought, and he agreed with all of you Canelitas, and he's the biggest Canelita of them all, but unlike you Canelitas, he ain't all about just the gossip. He actually knows what he's looking at. And if he were to agree with you, why wouldn't he jump all over Golovkin? Make that fight. Biggest payday Canelo could get right now. And easy, supposedly. <laughs> anyway, on to the fight. We saw, at least for the first couple of rounds, the kind of Golovkin that I've been begging for. The kind of Golovkin that needs to fight Canelo. Because that was... Look, I'm not deluding myself saying that the guy's prime could ever be as good as he was in his prime. But... He didn't just get older, he also regressed skill-wise. And now he's bringing those skills back. And that's exactly the kind of Golovkin you want to fight Canelo. Someone who uses boxing skill and isn't just a face-first brawler. Obviously, Golovkin, no matter what version you get, is always going to use boxing skill. But I'm talking about boxing, okay? Hit and don't get hit. Boxing. Golovkin was moving his head and it wasn't as fluid, it wasn't as good as it used to be, you know, it was a little bit more predictable, don't get me wrong, right, but he was moving his head like he was good six years ago, okay, he was switching stances like he was right around that same time, he was light on his feet like we used to see him, like the destructive Golovkin that he was I mean he was always destructive but I mean you know in my opinion he would have knocked out Danny Jacobs back in those days which is why Danny Jacobs waited him out for a couple more years also because he knew what was coming he was using a lot more lateral movement than we've seen him use recently you know lighter on his toes thinking thinking in there and yeah confused himself because he was going between this new old version of Golovkin, old, old version of Golovkin, and the more recent old version of Golovkin. He was confused between those two approaches because he's only been with Jonathan Banks for four fucking weeks. What are you people expecting? 
So, in my opinion, he thought he was going to get in there with someone who was going to essentially play the role of a sparring partner, right? It was going to be easy going. And Steve Rolls had ideas of his own. He came to win. So while Golovkin is trying these new things, checking shit out, Steve Rolls is like, uh-uh, this ain't no sparring session. I'm going to hit you and I'm going to try to win the fight, just like Vanish tried, right? He knocked him out of his rhythm before Golovkin could even really get into that rhythm, right? He's only had four weeks to try to bring back the old Golovkin. So Steve Rolls embarrassed him a little bit. Golovkin got frustrated knowing that, this is just my opinion, knowing that people are expecting him to get this over with quickly, to look impressive because that's how he's going to get the Canelo fight. No, 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 no. The way you get the Canelo fight is by sucking, actually, because that motherfucker is a cherry picker, all right? But anyway, he's giving Canelo way too much credit. In other words, the better Golovkin looks, the less likely Canelo is to fight him. I mean, look at what De La Hoya is saying. We got to age you another fight. We got we to gotta wait a little bit longer. Because you're still... I, I'm seeing something that I don't like. When, when I saw that, I knew Canelo shouldn't be fighting you. And when that went away, that's when we fought you finally. And now that you're bringing it back, I'm having second thoughts about putting Canelo in there with the biggest payday of his career. Yet again. Fuck out of here. Anyway, Steve Rolls embarrassed Golovkin a little bit. Frustrated him. And... Golovkin punished him for not wanting to be a sparring partner. He's like, look, man, I'm trying some new things here, so let's just throw a jab at each other a little bit here and there, maybe a few power shots. Let, let's just take it easy. I'm going to take 40% off my shots, which is exactly what he did. Well, maybe 35. <laughs> and, you know, you're not going to go to war with me just yet. Let's, let's just, you know, get into our groove and give the fans a show. No. Steve Rose said, fuck it, I'm going to start fast because you're trying to start slow. I'm going to try to win the fight. And Golovkin got pissed off and fucked him up. Simple. Now, because it's going to take Golovkin some time to get back to his former self, even though I don't think he could ever get back to exactly that, it didn't look as good as it can look, right? And he was confusing himself a little bit in there. He was just trying new things and that gave Steve Rolls opportunities. So he was able to crack him. And instead of continuing to pursue that sort of game plan, right? Light on his feet, head movement, lots of jabbing and, you know, a lot of pity patter and then taking power off your shots, just touching them, just touching them, right? Instead of continuing to do that and pursuing that game plan because there's a lot of pressure on Golovkin, he stepped on the gas and got him the fuck out of there. But, you know, I think it's fair to criticize Golovkin for getting hit, no doubt about it. But let's not take that shit out of context. Vanis Martirosian hit them with exactly the same shots. It's uncanny how he was able to hit him with the same kind of shots, right? And we all saw what happened in that fight. Golovkin's been hit before. I mean, you make Mayweather come forward, he's going to get pieced the fuck up by Maidana. That's why he didn't come forward against Maidana. That's why he didn't come forward against Canelo, despite whatever all the, you know, crazy flomos might tell you. That's not what happened in that fight. Watch it again. Stop gossiping. So Golovkin got frustrated, and I didn't like the fact that he stopped jabbing. I thought he should have kept on jabbing no matter what he's doing, whether he's in destroy, seek and destroy mode, or I'm going to box you a little bit more, get into my rhythm mode. You should never abandon the jab. But maybe he did that because, I think this was in the third or fourth round already, maybe he did that because he didn't feel any punching power from Steve Rolls and decided to just say fuck it and walk right through him, right? Maybe that's why he wasn't setting up his attack with his jab. Now, if this is something that is to be a recurring pattern, that's bad news, okay? Don't get me wrong. Golovkin should never abandon his best punch. Never, no matter what. So I can't really say that it was a mistake. But if it is to keep happening, yeah, that's a bad idea. That's all I'm saying. But, you know, don't you can't even sit there either and say that oh, Golovkin has no jab all of a sudden, right? Obviously, he does. Just because he didn't, he abandoned it for a moment, that doesn't mean that this will be a pattern. We'll see. 
but he abandoned his jab and he just wanted to get close to his opponent and start unloading hooks and he did exactly that and just pounded him into submission knocked him out but you know he got caught with a good counter right hand yeah because he didn't land his jab and decided to follow up with the right hand anyway even though he did not measure him with the jab Rose slipped the jab and countered with his own right hand but after that Golovkin still kept jabbing a little bit Rose kept jabbing and Rose never landed the right hand ever again why? because Golovkin adjusted he got hit with the right hand and then even when he was throwing his jab a little bit after that still well, he was moving his head off the line a lot more and never got cracked with the right hand even though Rose was throwing the right hand. He made sure to land his jab before he uncorked the right hand. After he got hit with that swivel jab, he never got hit with it again. <laughs> Why? Because he adjusted. He corrected the mistakes and knocked homeboy the fuck out. So, it's okay to criticize the guy but I mean, realize what happened after he got hit too, right? Don't just cherry pick certain moments out of the fight and act like you're giving a fair version of what actually happened. Because you don't fucking know what happened. I'm talking to all the canelitas out there. People who really should stick to boxing gossip and not talking about technique. So, even though it wasn't the kind of adjustment I would have wanted to see. Because Golovkin did abandon the jab. He did abandon the boxing game plan and went into full seek and destroyed mode. He still adjusted. He showed you that he's versatile. And never got hit again with any of those silly shots. Personally, I would have liked to see him trying to win um, with the Banks approach, right? The old, old Golovkin approach. See if he could do that. But it wasn't meant to be. It is what it is. But, you know, this, all this criticism of Golovkin and some criticism is warranted. No fighter is perfect, right? Criticize Canelo for getting hit by multiple shots in a row by Fielding before he knocked him out, right? Fielding was piecing Canelo up. Now, he, he was throwing arm punches, so they didn't have much effect on Canelo. Maybe that's why Canelo decided to walk through him too. I don't know. But Canelo got hit. The fuck out of here. Canelo got hit. Jesus. Criticize him for sucking in the Jacobs fight. He sucked in that fight. You're going to sit there and suck his dick for moving his head when there was no punches coming from all that fancy head movement. There was no countering coming from any of that. Okay, he avoided getting hit. All right, it's the same as running away. Were we going to praise guys for running away now? Yeah. Stick to gossip, all right? But, you know, all these things that Golovkin gets criticized for, like not having any defense supposedly not having any head movement if he shows you head movement and you're a fair boxing fan who knows what you're looking at well then give him credit for the things that you criticized him for in the past if you've ever said that he doesn't go to the body enough he i don't know seemed to me like a third of his shots in this rose fight were body shots jabs to the body straight right hands to the body hooks from both sides to the body from fucking southpaw stance to the body if you're going to criticize him for not going to the body, when he starts going to the body, give him credit, right? But it ain't about that. It's about dissing Golovkin. It's about protecting Canelo. It's about protecting Canelo, win, lose, or draw from having two more years knocked off of his career by Gennady Golovkin, who arguably beat him. Well, there's no argument. He beat him in the first fight, but arguably beat him in a rematch, all right? So... I'm liking what I'm seeing from Golovkin. I wasn't expecting too much because he's only been with Banks for two weeks. And even just watching them work the pads from the first pad session public workout to the second to the one right before the fight, I've seen massive improvement in Golovkin as far as his fluidity and confidence and how they're just gelling together, right? Massive improvements just in the short four weeks that we've been able to witness he and Banks working together. Now obviously when you get in the ring with somebody they're not there to cooperate with you like your trainer is, right? So obviously it's going to be a lot different um, and we can't just go by pad sessions and ex expecting that to translate into the ring exactly as what we see. 
but you know fishnets is looking at this shit thinking to himself i don't want my boyfriend to fight this new and improved old old version of golovkin because that's exactly the golovkin we didn't want to fight in the first place okay so stop dick riding all right for those of you that are stop acting like you're anything else than a boxing gossiper and actually watch these fights before you think you can have an opinion about them all right pay attention to what's going on see what's happening and tell it like it is obviously golovkin is aging yeah he's he's getting old he's 37 years old yes he's never going to be the same no doubt about it but did you see his chin cracked all of a sudden did you see his power go away did you see enough to be able to say that his stamina is no longer there what did you see what did you see you see the same destructive Golovkin that still gets hit like he used to get hit except he's trying new things he's going to the body more he's lighter on his feet if only for a little bit he's moving his head more than in recent years he's doing all these new things implementing all these new old things yeah he's trying to reinvent himself and the results at least at this level are still the same he's still knocking these guys out the same way so what's changed huh De La Hoya's confidence in Canelo.